Right, so this section is about Google Bard API, and I first started using I first started using ChatGPT, and I did have a uh, working version of ChatGPT available, but then it stopped working. So um, I wonder if I have got the um, I probably would have it somewhere. What did I call it? Um, that's chat spam, not chat GPT. Um, test chance. Just wondering where I've got it in my little folder system. Let's have a um, daily code. That'll be my daily code, but not that. So I'm just going to do a little search for. in my folder system uh, GPT let's have a little search for that um, pi underscore GPT dot JPEG no, uh, my YouTube's on it so like that tests um, I'll be open AI so be this my open AI over here so that's the folder and um, this was the actual file if i double click on it it'll probably launch it which it does and unfortunately for me and um, what i'll do is i'll get rid of this uh, bar here and i will um move this box well actually i'll remove the interactive thing altogether because it'll relaunch and um, let's get rid of that and just make the font a bit bigger um so um, ChatGPT, which runs from OpenAI, which you have to install the um, OpenAI module, um, it requires um, a secret to go in there, and then you can put your prompt effectively into it. And then from that, you can, um, well, I don't need even the models.list, that was me attempting to test it, so I'll control save without it. Um, and then you can effectively run your um, chat GPT model and I was using this text of NC0021 it was recommended for a video somewhere actually I think or you can look them up there's a whole bunch of them and they actually would come down in the models dot list but if I hit F5 to run this it is running uh, we run into this error message here which is you, you've exceeded your current quota please check your plan and billing data uh, billing details which if you go here and kind of like copy that and I guess paste that into Google this is sort of where you can see like already been on this link um, someone's asked the same question actually I've, I've upvoted it because I, I couldn't tell at first if it was something to do because i'd only used it once and this user asked the same thing this user used it once like i can't have used my quota but basically somewhere down below we're told that you have uh, three months there it says it over there you've got this quota that lasts for three months and then um, thereafter it expires or you've got a certain amount of credits that they give you so uh, i've obviously been over the three month period since i used that so open ai stopped working so i thought you know what um and OpenAI refers to ChatGPT, which is all of this over here. You know, uh, I've got an old session up. Um, and you can ask as much as you like here. So really, it's the API that's got the quota, not the actual chat bot. But um, I've tended to use Google Bard quite a lot, which is this application over here. And um, I actually tend to use it more probably than ChatGPT now. I remember doing an original comparison um, quite a while ago, but this is, um, it's kind of like being improved a bit and it's got a little bit better here and there. And it's generally a tad faster, which is why I use it. So I, I go to chat GPT when this doesn't work, um, which is probably, you know, it works say three quarters of the time or above three quarters of the time. But anyway, I can close down this um, open AI Python library, which once did work and still does work if you pay for it. Um, but given that I'm just doing testing and so forth and anything that I want to run is very light, um, I, I, there's not much purpose for, for me paying for it. So I'm going to go to the Bard API, which is this one here. And there's a couple of different ones. I've just used this one. Um, and 
you have to do a pip install bard api to get it working um i actually have to do it i put it on my little comments somewhere so i'll go back into here and close this one out because i don't need the open ai anymore for the purpose of the examples and on the bard and i've written it here because in windows you or, well, you don't have to but depending on your setup python minus m pip install bard api is how it needs to run and there's also credentials that you need to put in um, i've got a credentials file i can't click on it because it's like got the private effectively like a private key in there um, so i can't click on it but there are instructions of how to get to the private key which i actually wrote on it but basically you can go to um, bard so you can actually open up bard i think you can probably do it here in fact um, and do inspect um, yeah you can do it this way um probably there's more menu systems on there yeah it'll be it'll be down there and, and so the instructions are on here um so basically what you've got to do is you've got to do f12 for the console and then application cookies so you've got to look for the cookies um so i'll be somewhere in application and then in cookies and then it will be like these ones are shrunk so you can't see all of the you know the whole length of the cookie um but like there, there'll be the cookies basically and you can copy it and run it so the instructions are kind of like there for usage of it and the way that you call it just from bard from bard api import bard um, and then you've got your token you can send it to the token and that is the token if i can just go back that is the token that i set over here which is the cr underscore token which is uh hidden so you shouldn't expose this to anyone and it just do bard equals um, bard and then the response here so i put in um I, I tried a couple of things really on it let me hit clear on this because uh, clear i don't think we need to have that one up right just so it's nice and clear here um if i run this little block of code over here what we'll see is um, i put in this request and so this thing gives me back it actually gives you back a dictionary but we only want uh, the content part of the dictionary which is effectively the answer so i've just asked it hi how are you and then, and then we, so we get and it feeds back its reply so i wonder if i hover over it yeah it does give you a little bit there of um, stuff the parameter is just a string that's all that ever goes into it is one string and it returns a dictionary and the dictionary contains some content the conversation id uh response id text queries and choices but the one thing that we want is the content um, of the answer so that that's what we're effectively asking for back and it gives us this back as a well it comes back as a dictionary but the the uh, content is actually i believe it's, it's just a string so when i run it so i get the hi how are you but i thought just after that well actually what i'll do is i'll, I'll, I'll run it like this so let's just comment that out and do control uh, return to run it i'm running it in a python 3.14 session here um over there you can see it's python 3.14 um in the interactive python just because it's a bit easier and it says like, like so um hi how are you i'm doing well thank you for asking i'm excited to be able to help bloody bloody blah and so forth um, and then how are you today and i thought you know what it'd be just nice to see if i can feed back the answers so um i, I write sleep for a random period of time i don't think that's necessary but just to be on the safe side you know if you run too many apis too quickly maybe maybe you breach your limits are stuck in some randomness and a, a time a random time delay um but then um, I basically feed back the answer. So I, I um, ask Bard, like I put in an answer as to what Bard would. To, so Bard gives me this back and I put that string straight back into it um, to, to self-generate and mimic a conversation, like a conversation going on for three lines long. So let's just run that one now. And again, we've got the I am doing well, thank you. And then I guess it's going to print the next line after a few seconds. That's great to hear. I'm also doing well. Um, I'm excited to be able to interact with people and so forth. And then what are you working on today? I'm working on a few things. I'm trying to improve the ability of it and so forth. So it, it, it opens up and it generates a conversation. And I thought, you know what, I'll just try something else just to get something a bit more useful. But actually what I wanted to do 
Um, and I don't know if this will happen in the interactive because it looks like it hasn't done word wrapping here, which is a little bit annoying. Um, so I can figure out how to do word wrapping, uh, potentially. But if I just run this same thing one down below, so um, how do I for loop in Python? I wonder if it's going to stick it all into one string or not. Um, yeah, it has done. I wonder if I open it in a text editor if it's any better. Yes, it does. Okay, so it does the word wrapping here in the interactive, but actually over here, um, yeah, it it um, run the code. I think for key. For, the 4Q, no, it does and It hasn't wrapped any uh, st strings, at least in here. So it's given, you know, the full length of the string. But where it's got new line characters, it does it well. So the code itself, um, so it's an example here. And this is from Bard. This isn't from me. Um, you know, how to do a for loop. Here's a for loop on an iterable. The iterable is a fruits basket. Um, yeah, that's a list and it's iterating through the list for fruit and fruits and it gives you um, another example here for i in range 10 print i so but you know prints for i at 1 to 10. Um, yeah so uh, there's just basically a couple of examples and I've, I've seen it fed into different things you could use it in chat bots and stuff like that um, so you know, sort of like use cases um, chat bots and I might try to um, insert it into because I did a Twitter API video as well so I might try and insert something into Twitter and have like a little bard bot going um, but remember that there's usage limits there'll be usage limits on Twitter there'll be usage limits on bard and um, I have been blocked once on LinkedIn um, and that was only for posting once every hour so you, know, you can be a little bit careful with that so that's really it that's um that, that's basically google bar the bard api in um, python and it's all working and i should say because i always forget to um, ask if you do like this or if you've got any comments um, or anything that can be done better um yes um, hit the like button and also if you've got comments um, by all means post your comments into the chat as well.